Hey hello everybody, and welcome to episode 8 of my buying and selling in pay to play series, uh, where we're going to go to 100 mil using the Grand Exchange only. Um, we're starting this episode at about 10.46 mil. Uh, we're in the green stack of money now, which is exciting. I actually had to go add up all the totals from our last flip, because I didn't actually check in the clip. Um, on side note, I'm actually going to be gone for another 5-6 days at a music festival in interior British Columbia. For those who don't know, that's on the west coast of Canada. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into it here. We have some new items lined up today, so we're not going to do much of the potions. We're just going to do some brand new items, and we're pretty successful. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the first flip. Okay, so we're going to start the episode with a Redwood Log flip. Uh, it has about a 40 GP margin on it, which is pretty decent. Uh, we bought them for about 1160, and we're going to sell them for 1200. Um, so we'll get a couple thousand of these. We'll probably do like four or five thousand, and we'll get a couple more items as well. Okay, so actually I think we might do a Ring of Wealth flip. Again, it still has about a 3k margin on it. Oh, what? Okay, the log's bought already. <laughs> That's good. It's kind of weird. They actually all bought all at once. But anyway, yeah, we bought them for 1161. Uh, so we'll pop them in here for 1200. That's actually always nice. As long as the margin didn't shift too much. No, yeah, it's the same. Okay, yeah, we'll put these in for 1200. Anyway, uh, the Rings of Wealth have a 3k margin on it. And for the item price, that's actually really good. That's uh, about 10% you're getting back. So I think we're going to use the rest of our money on the Rings of Wealth here. Um, I kind of like just having two items going at a time. It's a little less complicated. But we'll go buy a couple hundred of these. Um, we'll probably get about 150 almost. Yeah, 150. Perfect. Okay, so we'll come back uh, when these rings have bought and sold. So the flips are in, and we were actually pretty successful. The uh, Redwood Logs, we got a 40 GP margin on pretty well. Uh, and we got about 5,000 logs. We got about 190k from those. And as you saw, they actually instantly bought pretty well, um, which was kind of lucky, but still, I'll take it. And the Rings of Wealth, we actually got nearly a 3k margin on each one, and 150 of them. Um, so we almost got about 450k from the Rings of Wealth, so they worked quite well, although I got a little lucky, and they did kind of randomly raise up for a day or two, so we'll have to check and see if these are still good going forward. Uh, but yeah, let's give them another shot, and we'll find some new items. So the profit on the Rings of Wealth has dropped down, but you can see there it's only like 1.5k, but realistically that's still actually pretty good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put it in for the low price and buy 200 of those, which will use the majority of our cash stack. Um, we're actually on day two, so we only have a couple more days before our membership needs to be renewed. Um, so we're going to be mindful of that, but we'll get a couple more items for sure. And next, I think we're going to try to buy a couple Infinity Hats. Um, we're just checked the West Buddy, and the low price is 2828k. So we'll plop an offering for two of them and hope they buy. It's kind of our first um, attempt at buying a kind of rare, expensive item. Um, so we'll buy only two of those, and we'll try to use the rest of our cash for sure. And lastly here is kind of a filler item. We're going to actually do the Energy Potion. It's kind of nice to have these kind of cheap items. It only takes 500 600k. Still have a really good return on it, but I'm still not going to be focusing on them. But it's kind of nice to just be able to use the rest of my money. Uh, never feels that great when you have a bunch of money just kind of sitting around. Because it's not like it's getting interest or anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy 2,000 of these. And we'll check back when this stuff is sold. So the Infinity Hat actually worked really well. We got, I think, about 120k on each one. And uh, we got two of them. So that's about 240k from the Infinity Hat. So that's pretty nice. Um, the rings we didn't get nearly as many as we wanted, so we only got about 56k from the rings. Um, we got about through 2.5k margin on each one. And uh, the energy potions, we got about 81 GP margin on, I think I calculated. And that gives us about 35k in total. Um, so not too bad. Still got about 300k on the flip. Uh, I think we're definitely going to try these infinity hats again. Um, so yeah, let's go buy another set of infinity hats. The one thing I don't like about flipping high value items is there's a lot of guesswork involved. Unfortunately, like you can look at the low price, which is somewhat accurate, but I mean here we're plopping in for 2845k. Uh, we don't really know what people are buying and selling it for, so there's a lot of guessing. You could be waiting a long time, not sure if you actually have the proper price or not. Um, but yeah, so we'll buy three of these and we'll find a couple more items. Okay, so we'll put a quick offer in for energy potions as well. Um, they have about a 40 GP margin on it, so that's an easy 80k. And lastly, we're going to do the super attack potion. It has a really good margin on it, and I can't really complain about that because we are buying them instantly. You can see a quarter of them have bought. Um, so we'll check back when the infinity hats have totally bought, and some, probably the potions have sold as well. 
Okay, so the Infinity Hats have sold. Um, we got a bit less of a margin this time. We got a 54k margin on each one, but uh, we did get three hats this time. So we got 162k from the Infinity Hats, which is pretty decent. Um, the Energy Potions we broke even on, and the Super Tax we got about 70k in profit from. Um, so we're, I think we're going to focus again on trying to get some more items like the Infinity Hat. But first of all, actually, we have to buy a bond. Um, because we're on day one and I'm not sure when my membership expires so we're gonna go buy now fortunately I think the price of the bonds has actually dropped I think the last one I bought was almost three mil and oh yeah we actually buy it so yeah this one was about 600k cheaper which is really nice I'm not really sure at what point I'm gonna maybe buy multiple bonds at once because it is more efficient to get spend more to get like five bonds at once because you get three months you can see right there um, but it, the current moment it's a little too detrimental to buy more bonds at once because it'll lower my cash stack too much um, but right now we're actually still sitting at 9.2k or 9.2 mil sorry <laughs> um, which is pretty good actually so I might consider buying two bonds next time so we'll go ahead and redeem the bond and we'll come back when uh, we got our first item so I think we might buy some of these infinity hats now I mean like look at this chart I mean it's useful for sure but at the same time almost be worth it just to buy and sell one to actually see what the margin is um, instead of wasting your time and trying to guess it but um, right now we're just gonna try to buy some for about 2.8 mil um, we'll give it a shot I mean we're just kind of a shot in the dark here we have a, actually no idea what the price is um, but that's kind of half the battle when you're doing this so we'll get one more item as well and I think we might do this super defense it looks like it has a pretty good margin on it that's yeah, actually really good. That's almost 200 GP if we buy it for the low price, which I think we might. Um, so yeah, it's 400k if we buy it for the low price. Probably more like 250k if we buy it for the high price. Um, so we'll put it in for 2046, and we'll buy. I don't think we can buy 2,000, but we'll get pretty close. Um, so this is pretty good. I'm gonna see if the Infinity Hats buy. If they just kind of stagnate, we will pull them out. Okay, the hats have been sold, and. I this time we got about 75k on each one, uh, giving us about 150k in total. Um, the defense potions, we got 115 GP on each one, and we got 1700 of those, giving us almost 200k. So pretty decent actually for just the two flips. So the infinity hat has been working pretty decently, so we'll go ahead and buy a couple more of these. Again, we're kind of just plopping in random prices, we're kind of just feeling around, putting the prices up a bit and lowering it down, that's pretty much all we're doing. And we're going to buy three of these. So next up we're going to do actually the Amulet of Glory trimmed. It's kind of a funky item but it has a decent margin on it. So we buy it for six, 61k in a little bit. And we sell it for 52k. Yeah, so that's pretty decent. We're going to buy probably like 100 of these since it has about an 8 or 9k margin. Which would be really awesome if we buy all 100. Not expecting to because I don't know who the hell actually has this item. Um, but yeah, we'll buy 100 and we'll probably get at least one more item. And lastly, we're going to do some energy potions. Uh, we actually insta-buy them, which is nice. Um, they still have about a 30 GP margin on it, so that's easy, 60, 70 K, uh, which is pretty nice when you only have about like under a mil left. Um, so we'll go ahead, decant these quickly, and uh, we'll plop them in at the high price, which I kind of forget now, but um, let's see. Yeah, we bought them for 386, and we're going to sell them for like 570 or something. Yeah, 573. Yep, so uh, we'll come back when this stuff is sold. Okay, so the flips are in, and uh, we did pretty good. The Infinity Hats had a 28k margin on them, I think. And we got two of them, so that's 56k. The Energy Potions, we got 43 GP on each one, and 2k of the potions, giving us about 85k. And the Glories, we got nearly 10k on each one. Unfortunately, we didn't get 50 of them, but we did get 10, giving us another 100k. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty decent way to end the episode. I think that's what we're going to call it. Um, but I think in the end, we made about 1.7 mil um, this episode, and we did renew our bond. So we started the episode about 10.4 mil. Um, we ended at 9.8 mil, but um, we bought a bond, which cost us 2.4 mil. So after calculations, we made 1.7 mil. So well, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, just hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in episode 9. Thank you